Abe gunno e bedamina mona kola ko make of face this interviewer. Ko make of face Sam. See if you don't know Bible eh, not they go for interview. You then are the shake. For small small questions that you they shake. If you don't know Bible, not they go for interview. I don't let people they want to see Christianity finish. If you don't mean wherever you are, please come for this interviewer. Come for him. Let him interview you, may I turn on. Does God exist? Yes. Where? In heaven. In heaven? Yes. Where's heaven? How many heavens do we have? There are about three heavens. Three heavens? Yes. Where, where is the first heaven? The first heaven, you can call it maybe it's like the cloud we see. Yeah. You can call it the first heaven. Uh, okay. Then that's uh, and God is not there, right? No, God is not there. It's not the second heaven? The second heaven is where we have the, maybe the galaxies and the... the galaxies and everything. Um, uh, and God still is not there? No. So people can do whatever they like in, on, in, in the first heaven and the second heaven. Okay. Third heaven, so God yeah. is there. That's when right. you go to third, third heaven, you don't have to sin, right? That's where God lives. Huh? That's where God lives. That's God lives. Yes. So you are free on first, level, first heaven and second heaven? I mean, free to approach... Oh. To do whatever you like? Yeah, I can say so. I can okay. Say, yeah. yeah. So this third heaven, where, where is this third heaven? Like I said, the cloud we see... How, how did you know about this third heaven? Who told you about the third heaven? I knew from the scripture. The from Bible. scripture? Yes. Oh, by, by just reading. The Bible. And then you believe, by just reading the Bible and you believe that? Yes. You believe that there's a heaven? Yes. Third heaven? Yes. And that's where God resides? Yes. Okay. This God that you're talking about, mm. where does he come from? Where he come from? Yeah. Which place? No, when I, naturally, when a person is the landlord, without asking where he's coming from, he's the owner. He's the owner of the, of the land. Where he is, he's yeah. the landlord. So but God he was is, born there, right? God is the CEO of the world, so he can't say where... Okay. Yeah. But do you, did he have, does he have parents? No. No? No. So if he does not have parents, where did he come from then? He created parents. He created himself also? Yeah, he is, no, he was not created. I'm he sorry, did God. he create himself? No, nothing will exist without him. He was not created at all. But all the things that we see, they come from somewhere. That's good. So where did he, did he, did he just come from somewhere? He created what? Sometimes he created... I'm talking about him coming from somewhere. Where yeah. did he, he created himself? Or he came from somewhere? No. Or somebody created him? Now you see, he, he is God. How many gods do we have? Now, there is, he is God and there are other gods. Other gods? Yes. And these other gods, were they created themselves? Sometimes, human beings can make something and say, this is their God. But that okay. does not mean it's God. Okay. Yes. So, um, God controls everything. You can say you cannot say God controls everything uh -huh. because there are things He have committed to human being to control. Okay. So you cannot say He controls everything. After yeah, but but why is God hiding Himself? The God that you're talking about. No, he... why is hiding Himself? Why can't He just open the heavens so that we can see Him? Why can't we see God? No, He. How do you believe in something that you do not see? No, you cannot say. Uh, I'm sorry, you're believing in something that you have never seen before, and you've just read about that, and you have come to me and tell me that you believe. No, no. Why, why, what does? What do you mean by saying you believe? I believe because I know he exists. Okay. And I, it's I, just I, a belief. The, the, the wise man. You are not sure. Right? Are you sure or you're not sure? I am sure. The, How can you be sure with, about something that you haven't seen? No, I, I, I may not have seen seen him, but I have proofs. Okay, what and, uh, the wise man said, only a fool can doubt proof. Yeah. So he, he, he have proof in his existence, so he cannot doubt him. Yeah, but that is man who wrote that. You are talking about what man has written. Everything that you are talking about has been written. By somebody. By, me, by somebody and in the language of man. Now, Was the Bible written in the language of angels, mm -hmm. written in the language of God? Now, look at this. He's wanting to write... I'm asking you a question. Yes. Was the Bible written in the language of God? What do you call language of God? I'm saying when, when you read this, was it the language? You've know, got language of dogs, animals. animals, the language of animals, the language of men, the language of angels, the language of God. Was it written in the language of God or the language of men or the language of angels or of animals? You should be able to break it down for me to know which one is language of man and language of 
animals. What do you mean? I'm talking about the Bible that you read. No, because it's written in English language for for instance. For instance. Uh, so no, not only English. Now you talk about English. language of dogs or animals. So yeah. I don't I want to understand on which angle are you talking about? I'm saying the language of God. Doesn't God have a language? If if I speak the God's language now, you will not understand it. Me? Yes. You speak it, let me hear if I cannot understand. No, it is scripture, of course, he's speaking in tongues. So if I speak uh, language in of... Yes. In tongues. I, com I communicate with God. That way. In tongues. And, if and I you know what you're saying when you communicate with of him? Of course. The tongues. I know what There I'm are non tongues. There are, there are non tongues. There are tongues. The, the, the tongues of men, tongues of angels, and tongues, there are non tongues. Yes. You're talking about the unknown tongue. Yes. There are tongues. It's, that's why I'm saying. Yes. The language of men yeah. or angels or the language of God. Because there are tongues of men. Yeah. There are tongues of angels. Yes. The, 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 the unknown tongue. So you said when you speak in the unknown tongue, I will not understand you. Because, yes, because but you will understand yourself, right? I'm the one speaking it and I know what I'm speaking. You know what you're I'm speaking. I'm the one I'm speaking to. You okay. understand. Okay. When you speak in tongues, why, why should you speak in tongues when you know what you're saying? Why can't you speak in English or in your language to God? Because you know. When I speak in tongues, yeah. I'm not speaking to you. I am speaking to him. I he, but you him. said you understand what you are saying. You. Yes, I know what I'm saying. You know what you are saying. When I'm speaking in tongues. How do you know? How do I know what I'm saying. Yeah. For example, now, if I want to ask God for this call, yeah. And I don't want people around me to know what I'm saying. I can just say, God understood what I said. Okay. So. Because I was not speaking to human being. You can't understand it. Yeah. But I said, mm, and he that I spoke to understood what I said. Yeah. And he replies to me. So when he speaks to you, he's going to speak to you in tongues? Or that's, does God speak to you in tongues? That's, that's on, that, on that version. Because he, he, oh, you see, when you okay, say he, the way he speaks to me, sometimes he speaks to me with his voice, sometimes he speaks to me by giving me visions. And I see things. So that's how he speaks to me. Okay. Yeah. Does the devil speak to you? Devil? I have no relationship with God. So you have, you I'm have, saying, does the devil speak to you? He doesn't not speak to me because I does not serve him, Lord. Huh? You know, the, he, the devil does not speak. No. You believe in the devil. There is devil. You believe. Yes, I believe. And you believe that he he he, he speaks or he's dumb. No, he speaks. So why is he not talking to you? Because I, uh, like Bible said, light and darkness has nothing in, have nothing in common. When light comes here, darkness must go somewhere else. Uh, but in the garden, the Bible that you read and you talk about, yeah. the devil spoke to Eve. How come that the devil sp spoke to Eve and he can't speak to you? Now, Didn't the devil speak to Eve good. in the garden? The devil spoke to Eve. Ah. How did the devil speak to Eve? Yeah. I, How did through a devil? snake, yeah. Through a snake. Yeah, yeah, we know. So I don't have snake in my house. So it doesn't speak to me. <laughs> so, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. I know that you don't have snakes in yeah. your house, but you can have snakes in the form of something. Human beings can be snakes. Human beings can, 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 the devil can use a, a, a person to talk to you. Oh, well, if you say so, maybe I, maybe I, I, can, I can start believing that now. You can start now, believe that. But now I have no relationship okay. to know how he speaks to So he does not have to speak to me. Because I okay. Don't. What about imposters? People who are imposters, who are not true prophets. Mm -hmm. Or true pastors. Yeah, okay, break it down. Well, Let me understand. Uh, yeah. Do, do you believe that there are people who are who are, who are who are imposters and people who are not imposters? Yes, I believe. Okay. You believe that? Yes. So, how come that a person becomes an imposter? What is it? Is it the devil that speaks to him, or is maybe they just tell themselves they want to make money? Some some devil speaks to them, and some they want to make money. So what you are saying is that the devil cannot speak to a born again. No, he, he, he The can't. devil cannot send a message to a born again he child can. of God. He can. He can. He can. He can, yes. I said it's possible. It's possible. Yes. But you said the devil doesn't speak to you. I, I will ask if you speak to me, I will tell you to speak to me. But if you didn't speak to me, I have no relationship with him. So the tongues that you speak about, yeah. how do you know that you're talking to God? How do I know that I'm talking to God? Yeah. Of course, I because I'm speaking to God, so I should know who I'm speaking to. Okay. Yeah. Did they teach you to speak like that? And talk, no. Huh? You know? Oh, 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 how did you how did how did it come? How do I start speaking in tongues? Yeah. They laid hands on you? Well, it's well, number one is that it's scriptural. 
You see, America. viewers out there are confused. Uh -huh. And they, we, we must know that we have got millions of people who are listening. To this. Yes. And they know that the Pentecostals are the ones who speak in tongues. Yes. In the unknown tongue. Yes. And they even speak in tongues in the presence of sinners. In the presence of people who don't, let me use it this way, in the presence of people uh, that do not speak in tongues. Uh -huh. Do you do that? Do, do, do you speak in tongues in, in the presence of people who do, who do not know God? It's, number one, you should understand that. You just spoke in tongues with, uh, with, with now, uh, to, to us. With understand the, what we speak in Why did you speak in tongues just now with the uh, and, and I tried you. to give you an instance. Now, when I speak in Was tongues. Was it in tongues? When I speak in tongues, yeah. Brother Paul said, We are not speaking to human, the people. I'm yeah. speaking to God. Yeah. N no one understands. No one understands it. Only God understands. So that I can speak in tongues to people because they can't understand it. Yeah, but when you're in church, do you okay? Do you speak or you pray in tongues? You can speak. You can pray. Okay. So what do you do when you when you do? Do you pray or you speak? I mean, you. I don't understand. Let me get, get do there. you pray in tongues yes. or speak in tongues or I you do, do both? I do both. I speak in tongues and I also pray in tongues. Okay. Yeah. What about people who don't do that? Can you do it in front of them? Oh, well, that's what scripture said. If I do it, if I but speak this tongues, thing, where did you get this thing from? Who taught you that? It's scripture. I said, correct chapter, yeah, chapter fourteen. Yeah, yeah. When I speak in tongues, I, for example, when I, I speak in tongues to people, they can't understand it. What if it's not the, what is written there is not what you are doing? Huh. You, what if the first, the first uh, you're talking about first Corinthians 14 yeah. verse 3 14, or verse yeah, 2 yeah. and 3 yeah so what if what you are doing is not what is written there no because you where do you get the utterance from no but if you read, if you read verse 20 before that, you started to speak in tongues you had people speaking in tongues is that correct uh, yes of course yes and then you 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 were listening to them yes and you imitate them no okay how did it happen then explain how did I start speaking in tongues yeah now, speak, speaking in tongues is most of the time, like the scripture says, it works from your spirit. For example, now, when I want to ask some questions, I might be speaking to people and I want to ask God questions. I want to ask God questions about them. And one of the things that speaking in tongues, it helps me to you know, say a lot of things to God in one second. So, Pastor Emmanuel, remember this is cosmological argument. Yes. That's why I'm, I'm using, I'm taking questions. Yeah, you are aware of that. Yes, yes. Now.